So, did you guys see the brand new Onyx e-bike? Yeah, I didn't know either until my friend sent me the promotional video. Take a look at it right now. Yeah, so that's the bike. What do you guys think? I have mixed opinions on it. Uh, currently, you can only pre-order it, but I think the price tag is going to be anywhere between two and three thousand dollars, which is pretty steep for what this is. Because essentially, we're looking at a dirt jumper. The point of this frame is to have urban adventures, right? Like you can do jumps, as the name kind of suggests. It's very maneuverable. You know, it's like a mountain bike. Uh, I didn't notice that this bike is single speed and a mid-drive. Not sure how that's going to work. But yeah, in terms of power, there's two models, a 500 watt and a 900 watt mid-drive motor. And the battery was a little bit disappointing. It's 36 volts and 14 amp hours. And I mean, I don't have to tell you guys how small and weak and pathetic those battery specs are. Oh boy. Okay, I'm rocking a full charge. Ah, these brakes are super loose. Okay, now it's too tight. Ah, oh, so annoying. Oh, there he is. Quickly finish. Okay, that feels acceptable. Okay, so I'm here with my bro, Andre. You guys know him. Uh, he invited me out to a food truck music festival over in Chatham. I was like, sure, sounds like fun. So we're gonna go check it out, see what it's all about. I got my speedometer right here. I know you guys like to see that. Hopefully, it's not getting washed out by the sun. But yeah, it's the next day since I filmed that first bit about the new Onyx. So, you know, I had more time to think about it. And I like it even less now. <laughs> it's just such a weird bike. I mean, maybe I just don't understand it. That's usually the case. But like, I don't know, it just seems so specific and expensive. You guys know I want to upgrade the motor on this bike to the best motor that Bafang sells. It's called the G62. It's a thousand watts nominal, a peak of 2000. And Grin Technology, they just uh, began selling their version of it. Because depending on who you buy it from, it's like a little bit different. So I want to buy the one from Grin Technology because they're the ones I bought the controller from. So it's a perfect match. Oh no, did I lose Andre? I gotta remember, 60 volts versus 48. Where is he? Oh shit, did I like actually lose him? There he is, oh no, he's going straight! Oh no, he's... I mean, you could go that way? Yeah, I mean, he knows... Okay, whatever, I guess we're gonna meet there. Poor guy. But anyway, like I was saying, G62 motor. Oh, I've been getting lost in the weeds of winding speeds in a motor. Just when I think I know everything there is about e-bikes, there's something new that puts me right back in my place. So let's talk about motor windings. So this is its own rabbit hole. But essentially, to give you some background, the way that electric motors work is that they have an RPM rating per volt, right? That's kind of the main thing for at least what I'm talking about right now. And the winding speed can affect that. So a lot of motors have, a lot of e-bike motors, you can have a slow, regular, and fast winding speed. 
So that means for the same volt, the RPM, the RPM per volt is different between the different uh, models, right? Pretty basic. So you would think that the fast winding speed is kind of always the best option, but apparently that's not the case. So I found this forum. So what I found on this is that motors with a faster wind speed, of course, have a max or a better top speed. But the trade-off is that slower winding motors give you more power at low speeds. So that's kind of the yin and the yang. I mean, you have to keep in mind that I am overvolting this motor because it is designed for like 48 to 52 volt batteries and I'm already running it at 60 volts. So that in and of itself is going to increase its top speed. So do I need that and a fast motor winding? That seems like it might cause some overheating. Because something else I found out is that faster motor windings also consume more power. So it's more energy hungry. So it's going to give you less range as well as just, you know, potentially overheat faster. So primarily for that reason, I think I'm going to go with the standard motor winding speed and, you know, upgrade to a 72 volt battery if I want a better top speed. But if you guys uh, are knowledgeable on motor winding speeds, uh, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know what you think is best, especially in a situation like this where I am over volting the motor. Okay, uh, I think I go right here. Uh, I might have to consult the map. Uh, okay, this is the middle of the town. So this is where I'm supposed to be. Let's see if we can find Andre. He should be approaching from that direction. And yeah, so where's that festival? There should be food trucks and music. Do you guys see either of those two things? Okay. Let's go this way. And yes, I am on the sidewalk right now. I'll do some courtesy pedals. You know, I began this video talking about the new Onyx. So we might as well end the video talking about another bike I just came across. Don't kill me. So I found this relatively, I think, new. It's definitely a smaller company. And they sell the P51 e-bike. And it's essentially their take on a Super 73. You can see the very strong resemblance. And also, I think the price tag is the same. This is like 3,800 bucks, so it's not any cheaper. So, I watched a quick video on this bike. And the suspension is supposed to be way better. Although the battery uh, doesn't really seem better to me. It's still 48 volts, the capacity isn't huge, it's like 15 amp hours. And the motor is right at 750 watts, so the same as what I have in here. So it's really just like better suspension and slightly worse aesthetics for the same price. So, yeah. Safe to say I'm not super excited about buying this bike, but it's interesting. I didn't know it existed until I saw it pop up on my YouTube feed this morning. Okay, I gotta actually find Andre here, and then I can end the video on a positive note. Oh, okay, I gotta go back the way I came, and then make a right and kinda go down that way. Finally. Okay, I gotta look at my maps and not die. You would think this should be easy. Okay, I, I think I'm just gonna go on the sidewalk. And we have strollers, and I feel like an asshole now. Is this the festival? Well, map says no.
Okay, no bikes on sidewalks. <sighs> so I gotta go onto this death trap. Huh. Remind me never to ride my bike in this town ever again. Jeez, that road is very hostile. There's no place to be if you're on a bike. I found Andre, who was like a block away from me. I don't have a horn. I just gotta catch up to him. <laughs> oh no. Andre! Um, yeah, what, so, what, did they lie to us? Oh, it's canceled? Yeah, why did they cancel it? Yeah, it kind of was a buzzkill, so. Whatever, I'm gonna head back. He's gonna wait a little bit longer to see if something happens. But My phone is right. it's always a fun time riding bikes, so. Oh, hell yeah. Have fun with the bike, I'll see you later. And yes, I do lend out my bike to people, my second bike, because I'm a nice guy. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Kind of an anticlimactic ending, but it's really about the ride. Having fun. It's not about the journey. It's about the destin- no, no, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. If you guys are still watching, make sure to leave a like, subscribe even. It helps to spread the content around the internet. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.